Hi everybody, it's Ann Quinn with Carnegie Public Library and this is Reading Raves. You know, I've got a lot of phone calls in the last week or so asking uh, from grandparents and parents asking for recommendations on what to buy for their children for as a Christmas present or a stocking stuffer. Last week, I talked about a book that's brand new. It's just been out for a couple of months, Skunk and Badger. And I talked about it last week and I just been putting this at the top of all my Christmas lists. So um, you wanna check this out. But my other all-time favorite, absolutely my all-time favorite, is The Antlered Ship. And this is by Deshaka Slater. And the Fan Brothers, Eric and Terry, are the illustrators. And one of the reasons why I love this book so much is because of the very rich illustrations. Uh, these brothers have um, illustrated a number of very, very popular children's books. And I would like to do a segment later on in the year or in the new year just about these brothers and other books that they have illustrated. But this is, uh, to me, if you're looking for a book for underneath the tree or for a stocking stuffer or for a president general for kids, I would say anywhere from like three to eight, they would enjoy this book. And one of the things I love uh, are the foxes that are populated throughout this book. I, I think all children's librarians have a favorite animal character and the fox happens to be mine. Um, my predecessor, Debbie Roby, who was head of children's services before me, she had a thing about pigs. And so she purchased a lot of books with pigs in them. I still do too, Debbie, just in honor of you. But uh, for me, it's the fox and I love this. Um, I just love how rich this is, what a sweet, sweet character the fox is. And because I love this book so much, you can see this is the opening page. Well, people very near and dear to my heart purchased for me last year this wonderful piece of art that I have hanging on my wall in my office. And it's the first page of the antlered ship. And um, whenever I'm having like a moment, I take, I like to look at this picture and I can kind of feel myself calming down. So you're gonna like this book too. Um, the pictures in it are just so darn cute. And that's what I would like everybody to, to take their time when they're going through this book, to look at the woodpecker on the tree, to look at the porcupine, the squirrel, and the expressions on the fox's faces. It's so dear. And this one fox, the main character is Marco. And I wonder if they named him Marco because of Marco Polo, who's famous for all of his world travels. Well, this little fox is getting ready to go on quite an adventure. He has lots of questions. He's very philosophical and he wants to know more about other foxes. And so he goes on this incredible voyage and with other animals like bears and all these pigeons. And I love that the captain of the ship is a deer. Her name is Sylvia, the captain. Um, and she's gonna lead them on this wild journey as they explore. And another picture that just delights me is when they're all sitting around the dinner table and they've got, they have fish stew in front of them. And I like to look at the pictures of the past captains hanging on the wall. And they're sitting around enjoying their fish stew. I defy anybody to look at this page and just not fall in love with the characters in there. So I really recommend this book as a favorite book of mine to, uh, to give to the, your uh, special children in your life. I especially like the picture of the pirate ship uh, with the bear and the owl and the alligator and the raccoon and how fierce they all look. Uh, this is another dear picture that uh, it just begs you to, to sit and enjoy all the detail in this book. So um, again, he doesn't find, Marco does not find all the answers to his questions but he does find that making friends is probably the best thing of all. And he does indeed make wonderful friends in this book. 
So that's my holiday recommendation if you're looking to purchase a book for your special little ones in your family. And it's definitely my top reading rave, The Antlered Ship. So um, come to the library. We, and we have several copies here. And you can check it out and peruse it first to see if it's something that you'll enjoy. So again, I just wanted to tell everybody in our audience to enjoy the Christmas stories that we're bringing to you every single day. Um, members of the staff have uh, picked their favorite books that they will be reading to you all of this week and all of the following week. And then we're also uh, sharing a chapter book for a little bit older children, An Elk Dropped In, which is a very funny book. Um, it's a import from, I uh, believe, Sweden. So it's not a common book, but it's a delightful book. So you're going to want to tune in every day to our Facebook account, or you can go to our YouTube account and um, listen to these wonderful stories that we hope you enjoy during this holiday season. Thank you.